Hey golfers, Drew Mahold back here with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter here at the Minnetonka location. Thomas, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Nice, bright and early time to test the new T100 iron versus the AP2. Yeah, we got uh, the 718 AP2 here. Thomas has the Titleist T100, uh, part of the new T-series from Titleist. Uh, both irons look very similar um, in terms of appearance, in terms of the address profile. What are you expecting to see? You know, you're going to hit some shots here with both. What are you expecting to see in terms of similarities, differences, feel, sound? Uh, what are you thinking? Uh, so this is the first time I'm going to get a chance to hit the T100. Um, from just looking down at it, it lo looks fairly similar looking, looking towards the AP2. Um, probably not going to expect a major difference in distance or spin or anything like that, just because it's you know, it's got the same loft, so they're both at 30, 34 degrees, so there's not a major difference. You know, maybe one might just feel a little bit better off the face. Only way to find out is hit some, see what, see what happens. Yeah, let's get after it. All right. All right, Thomas, T100 versus AP2, uh, what are we going to start with here today? Let's hit the T100 first. Really excited to get my hands on this, test this out. Uh, we'll hit three shots with the T100 first. Come back and hit three shots with the AP2. Three more shots with the T100. Three more shots with the AP2. Yep. Take a look at some numbers here and see if there's any differences between these irons at all. Perfect. All right. Yeah. So in the past, I know you've played the AP2 in your bag, right? Yeah. Last year, I played the AP2 in my bag. Yep. Okay. 718 yep. AP2. 718. Yep. Um, and now, what shaft? We're going to use the same shaft for both, correct? Correct. Yeah. Project X LZ 6.5. It's the current shaft okay. that I'm playing in in my irons here too. So. Yep. And then. AP2 7 iron and T100 7 iron are both at 34 degrees, correct? 34 degrees, yes. Okay. So there's going to be no loft difference between yeah. them, them at all. So they, you know, I would expect them to go a fairly kind of similar distance. Yeah. yeah. Sure. All right. Yeah. Okay. So let's hit the T100 first. Good looking club looking down at. Kind of your traditional tightless iron to look down at. Just a little bit heavy. But relatively forgiving for a club that I caught a little heavy. Still carried 173, which is about five yards short of how far okay. I normally carry my 7 iron. So. That one sounded a little more solid. Yeah, they, they were both just. A tad on the heavy side. There's that signature Thomas Campbell baby draw, though. If I hit that shot every single time, I'd be very, very happy. Let's hit a little bit more solid. Yeah, nice and consistent. Pretty, yeah, pretty yeah. consistent as far as the distance goes. That's, you know, three very similar carry distances. Yeah, I, li I like it, right? Uh, Right around about 174 carry going about just shy of 180 is kind of how far this, this club was going. Felt really good. Honestly, it, you know, feel, talk about feel. This feels like your traditional Titleist forged iron. Yeah. Just kind of the, the standard kind of feel for, for Titleist. Mm -hmm. um, feels really good. Yeah. You can't go wrong. Nice, shiny club looking down at. Love the look of that yeah, too. Very so. appealing for someone like you, I'm sure. Uh, the kind of the more compact. Um, kind of, uh, you know, a thin top line, the type of thing that someone that's an elite ball striker like yourself would uh, would find appealing looking down at and kind of can inspire confidence, right? Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Yep. So let's jump back, hit the uh, AP2 here a couple I'll of times. Over to the AP2 here. Any initial impressions as far as appearance? Apparent um, looking down at it, like honest. looking down at the dress for you. It yeah, looked pretty similar. Now I'm going to put the AP2 down now and kind of look now, but it looked kind of pretty similar to yeah. what I'm used to seeing with an AP2 iron. Um, now that I'm looking down at the AP2, I'd say if anything, just the T100 maybe had an ever so slightly kind of thinner top line, okay. but otherwise looks pretty, pretty similar looking down at very clean looking irons. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, they're both kind of the, a similar construction, kind of shallow cavity, still thin and compact, uh, but kind of to give a player's iron with a little bit more forgiveness than, say, you know, muscle back or kind of even like the past CB irons. Yep. Um, where there's that shallow cavity, but this kind of has a split cavity almost too. A little bit more forgiveness than those, those types of players. And that's, irons. you know, that's why I played AP2 my last year. Yeah. You know, I, you know, 
I like to work the ball, so the ability to work the ball with the AP2 was great. But I also like that just added a little bit of forgiveness with, with the club yeah, there as for well. Sure. So. Okay, so let's hit the AP2 a couple of times here. That was hit more solid. Yep. Might be just starting to get warmed up here. That one was definitely felt like that was a little more out of the middle. Uh, that's how we're gonna alternate a little bit. <laughs> that's why we hit, come back and hit them eventually. They honestly feel very similar to each other. Um, now I know Titleists, you know, have kind of told us essentially that the AP2 line is not being replaced per, yeah. per se. It's more just kind of like they've used better technology to try and yeah. advance the, uh, the new T100 sure. line. Both very good looking clubs looking down at feel that honestly feel very similar. Just a little bit left. So. Yeah, so interesting that that club was going just a little bit further right yeah. now. I think it's attributed probably to me just getting kind of a little bit more warmed up here. Sure. So that's dive back to the T100 and see if that is the case. Okay, T100 again. Yeah, and now I'm now that I'm looking down at this. I do notice just maybe ever so slightly thinner line, line as I mentioned with the T100 yeah. before. Um, it's supposed to be a little bit less offset too. Um, I don't know if you can probably look at that a little bit. It's again, they're very similar shaping. Um, yeah, very, very, very similar shaping. Um, I'd say just in a very slightly smaller. I'm talking very minimal, but yeah, slightly smaller head, slightly yeah. thinner, thinner top line. That was a bit more solid. Oh yeah. All right. That'll make Titleist happy now that the T100 is <laughs> <laughs> is out there competing with the AP2. Yeah, that was a good swing. I think I hit that thing any straighter. Interesting. How'd that one feel? Did you hit strike that one? That one, you know, I definitely feel like we have the face just slightly open okay. coming coming through there. Um, not too much. I mean, five feet of curve to the right, so it's not like a lot of curve. But I like to see that probably ten foot of right to left curve normally yeah. with when I hit my seven iron. That felt more solid. Oofda. Yeah. That one was launched. That one was launched, yeah. That one was hit really, really, really solid. Interesting, yeah. All right, so that's hit three more with the AP2. Now, would you say those first three with the AP2, you struck them all pretty well? I did. I felt like they were, they were pretty good strikes. Like, as I mentioned, the T100, the first three swings that I had with those, I felt like I just caught them a little bit heavy. Okay. Um, you know, first couple of swings in the morning here, maybe didn't quite catch them, catch them perfect, but they still were just shy of what yeah. I'm seeing with I think my you seven said iron five numbers. yards, maybe less than your. What yeah. you would say you and that went straight. Carry so. your seven iron right now, and, and they were straight yep. and very consistent too. Yep. So, and if that's the miss, that's <laughs> pretty darn good. Yep. All right. Yeah, we noticed those three white dots that are just shy of 180 there, and then the last three I started hitting a little more solid. There we are. Yep. That felt good too. Maybe a little bit open there as well. Yeah, just a little bit. Pretty straight. I mean, four feet of curve to the right. It's not, not too much.
Felt solid too. Yeah, almost dead yeah. straight there. That was pretty good there. Yeah, so as you can see, distance wise, we're not really seeing much separation kind of between the two mm -hmm. of them though. You can see the, the white and that yellow circle was basically kind of right on top of each yeah. other. Um, I'd say, you know, consistency wise, the AP2 was pretty consistent. I had five yellow dots pretty close to each other right yeah. there. And I had the one Definitely. that went kind of a little bit further. Those first three, I was kind of warming up there with the T100 there, but Distance wise, between the two of them, they're basically doing the exact same thing. Let's take a look at the numbers here. Yeah. You know, and looking through numbers like you usually do here, what do you, what do you notice and what would you kind of point to someone that you were fitting for these two irons? Yeah, so I know the first three swings that I hit with uh, T100, they were just kind of a little bit, little bit yeah. off. You know, that was my first kind of first three swings. So you'll notice that my ball speed, it was about a mile, now, a mile less. Yeah. Um, so a mile an hour less than uh, the t AP2. So 126 with the AP2 versus 125 with the T100. Sure. I mean, both of them we're talking smash factor 1.4 with both of them. Very, very good. So I mean, that's, that's really, really solid. Um, what's interesting to see with the T100 is it did spin just a tad less. Uh, we're talking about 100 RPMs, yeah. so not like a major amount and the height was slightly higher. So I hit it slightly higher and with a little less spin. Um, we're not talking a major difference at all, um, but that's just kind of noticeable there. Um, with the carry distance, 178, 179, basically almost ident yeah. identical numbers there. So I, I mentioned 178 is, how, is my carry distance with my seven iron, so. Right. Spot on. Right, right on top right of it, yeah. yeah. So that's. That's kind of spot on right there. Um, the only thing I would come back to is there's little groupings of consistency patterns. So we notice we've got the white, all these kind of five dots right here. Yeah. And then you've got um, the yellow, all these kind of five dots right there as well. So if you were going to maybe take out, you know, one, one, one outlier per, per one, so probably those two yeah, sure. that, you know, that I may have pulled and gone a little bit further yeah. than everything else then you would, you would see that their consistency pattern between the two of them was pretty, pretty similar. Yeah. Let's just kind of do that because I am only human. I'm not going <laughs> to get it good every single, every single time. So let's just click on this one. I know these ones were definitely kind of well struck. Um, but now if you notice right there, you'll notice they're yeah. kind of okay. pretty much kinda on, on top of each other. Um, so dispersion was pretty similar. One thing I just do also want to add in here too, um, this is, by all know, if you look at the first three swings that I had with the T100, notice the smash 136, 137, 137. Those were the first three shots I hit a little bit yeah. heavy. Okay. If we look at the other ones now, the 141, 139, 141. So my last nine swings essentially were right around about 14 to 142 for every single swing. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're just seeing here that the numbers wise with the T100 is just going to be yeah. a little bit shorter. That is these three dots right here. We can take those out now. We'll notice that they yeah. were kind of going just sure, kind of a sure. little bit, a little bit further there as well. All right, Thomas, you hit a few shots with the AP2, a few shots with the T100. Um, kind of the main takeaways you had from hitting each of the clubs. Yeah, distance. You know, that were going about my 178 carry with both clubs. Uh, mm -hmm. We noticed when I hit the T100, the first three swings, I caught them a little bit heavy. Um, but they were nice and forgiving, so that's important to note that, you know, even though I didn't quite catch it right, mm -hmm. it flew straight and I only lost three or four yards. So that was important to note. I would say also look-wise, they look very, very similar looking down at them. The T100 is probably just a very slightly smaller package. I'm talking very, very minimal with a th very thinner top line. That's mm -hmm. kind of the only thing I kind of noticed between the two of them. Overall, pretty similar, um, both split cavity design. Um, both kind of that, have that forged Titleist player's iron feel that I think you mentioned a few times that yep. Titleist has become known for as well. Um, it's Titleist's signature feel. I mean, yeah, if they have exactly. forged feel, it's, it's incredible. It's very, very good. Right. Yeah. Um, what type of player would you say would be you fit into, well, both AP2 and T100? Um, is someone, you know, again, Jordan Spieth is playing the T100s now, so anywhere from, you know, one of the best tour professionals in the world to uh, what range would you say 
Yeah, I'd say this irons. definitely someone that likes to work the ball. Mm -hmm. um, if you start going to like your T200, T300, they're going to be a little bit more forgiving, easier, you know, easier for someone that doesn't quite, you know, catch it in the middle of the face. Mm -hmm. But with the T100, it's just going to be, give you more scoring precision, essentially, be able to, you know, maybe shape the ball a little bit more. I'd say you mentioned best players in the world, kind of all the way through to maybe guy that, you know, shoots around, you know, breaks 80 all, all the time. Um, depending on their ball striking, if they're a great ball striker, don't have the best short game, probably still could maybe be towards, you know, the lower, lower 80s. Um, but I'd, I'd say kind of within that range. Sure. Yeah. Well, if you're one of those golfers, uh, I would encourage you to speak to Thomas Campbell or any of the uh, club fitters at Second Swing or uh, visit secondswing.com. Thomas, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you.